How do I get rid of bacteria in my well water? Uh, God, this is another really common question in particular because the EPA and TAP score recommend that everyone who has a private well uh, not only test for coliform and E. coli bacteria every year, but you should have some kind of a disinfection system installed on your well. Typically, that's a UV system, an ammonia system, or a chlorine injection system. Uh, these are three technologies, three processes for uh, 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 killing bacteria in your water. Now, if you've run a test recently and you've gotten the results back and there's a high level of coliform or there's a, sorry, a detection of coliform, uh, or E. coli in your test results. The first thing you'll do is not install a system like that, but actually perform what's called shock chlorination. So that usually means you're pumping a bunch of a uh, highly disinfecting uh, chemical mixture into your well. You're letting it sit there for a little bit. You're letting it disinfect the well, maybe disinfect the pipes. You'll clear out all that water with fresh water. Uh, and hopefully the problem goes away. If you retest it, if the problem is still there and you can't get the coliform bacteria to go away, um, that's when you're really going to need to think about installing some kind of permanent disinfection system on your well. Again, I recommend almost everyone do this regardless of having tested and detected coliform. Like if you have a private well uh, and you want to keep things um, nice, clean, safe, and healthy for everyone and not have to worry about it, just install a UV system or a chlorine system or an ammonia system uh, and keep your pipes and your home and your drinking water safe. Um, but if you've found a big detection and you're concerned about what to do next, uh, follow. We have a really wonderful guide on the TAP score uh, tips for TAPS blog on shock chlorination. Follow those steps, shock your well, and uh, hopefully the problem goes away. All right, that's a wrap for today. If you have further questions, please leave them in the comments section below. We will get back to you as quickly as possible.